Alright, uh, this is going to be my first time to do this and uh, without explanation I'm just going to go ahead and get started. Alright, so uh, the title of my book is uh, Teaching the uh, New Horizon Textbooks with Active Learning and uh, the New Horizon uh, these are the uh, English textbooks that's used for a fifth and sixth year uh, elementary sc school students in Japan and this version uh, has uh, was started from this year now I'm just gonna follow this line by line <coughs> and uh, it's by me my name's Charles Rindle you can call me Chuck I have a Master of Science in Psychology from Capella University 2014 Although not uh, written here, I should put it down. My specialties are uh, educational psychology and child and adolescent development with the uh, Japanese as my target uh, population. All right, and note, all of the pictures were taken at the school pond. I'm working as an ALT at, at uh, elementary school. But this is, uh, it, it, it's a biotope. You can look that up in the uh, on the internet. I'm not going to explain that. But you know, there's different kinds of biotopes. You know, this small school pond is a biotope. You know, the Amazon is actually a biotope, and you've got desert biotopes and uh, forest biotopes. All right, but that's not in my book, so let me uh, continue. All right. Next. Shh. Where Next, uh, all of the, oh, no, no, here. All right, so this is a picture of a, a couple that immigrated from uh, Russia, according to the principal. Yeah, they're here every year about this time of the year from about April to uh, June. I took this uh, picture on June 10th. All right. And yeah, they're, they're, uh, they're at the, uh, the, bi the biotope. I'm going to call this school pond a biotope. All right. Oh yeah, and this was uh, updated uh, uh, 23rd August 2020. That's today. All right, next page. Oh yeah, this is getting timed. I'm going to try to keep these videos down to uh, uh, five minutes. And here's the contents. <coughs> um, yeah, I'm not going to go over that in detail. I don't think so. But let me just say, it's split into three main sections. Section one is the learning theories. Um, yeah, that doesn't work too good. Like I said, this is the first time I'm doing this. <laughs> ah. Alright, so... Uh, section one, the learning theories, and the theories I'm introducing are uh, metacognition, chapter one, um, metacognition, uh, the uh, uh, learning pyramids. Well, maybe you know uh, uh, what is it? what is it? Dale's cone of learning, and you know there's a lot of controversy about. Uh, his pyramid, but I'm not even going to go into that because I don't care. You know, it works here in Japan, so I use it. You know, and uh, there's the mind map, and then chapter four, there's the Myers Briggs type indicator. All right, so that's section one. Okay, and uh, section two is application. You know, what good are theories if you can't apply them, right? So, chapter one is um, uh, the elementary school, metacognition in a Japanese elementary school. Yeah, I'm teaching metacognition to uh, uh, Japanese fifth and sixth grade uh, students. And then uh, chapter two is the metacognition, it says worksheet, but it's more like a, 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 a self-reflection worksheet that's based on uh, uh, 
metacog that was yeah made I made based on metacognitive skills the the metacognitive skills that you'll see in uh, section one uh, uh, in this research study by My Malpass O'Neill and oh five minutes saved by the bell all right so uh, yeah I'm just gonna end it here all right later